you keep throwing money that you can't or won't spend to develop your country inside, you're developing a recipe for the collapse of an empire. A rise in opposition to the Ukrainian supplemental bill, $40 billion, but there's no baby formula for American mothers and babies. That's how the British Empire, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, that's how they came to their end. $8.7 billion for economic support and funding in Ukraine, $900 million for nonprofits and organizations in Ukraine, $54 million in COVID spending in Ukraine, an unknown amount of money to the CIA in the Ukraine supplemental bill. They forgot that the first order of business is to take care of your own people. Brutal inflation, skyrocketing gas prices that no one can afford, but $40 billion for Ukraine. And if you don't do that while running around the world, imagining you can control everybody else, everything is going to be taken away from you. Stop funding regime change and money laundering scams and U.S. politician cover-ups of their crimes in countries like Ukraine. And I think Americans are already feeling it, sensing it, smelling it in the air, that something is basically wrong. The American people do not support paying for constant U.S. involvement in foreign affairs while our own government fails our own country. And then they go and they find scapegoats, which is again another piece of evidence of a declining empire. Let me remind everyone here, we swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. I think it's a clear sign that we live in a time when new, dramatically different uh, political forms are coming into existence. We should be paying attention to our country right now. I yield back. Thank you. A rise in opposition to the Ukrainian supplemental bill. I want to talk about personal acts of reclamation. $40 billion, but there's no baby formula for American mothers and babies. Even today, I have a personal errand. Um, I need to redo my nails. An unknown amount of money to the CIA in the Ukraine supplemental bill. And I've decided that I'm going to use my new manicure as almost like a personal act of reclamation. $54 million in COVID spending in Ukraine. So I grew up in a pretty socially conservative environment. $900 million for nonprofits and organizations in Ukraine. Like to the point where I couldn't really even paint my nails red. $8.7 billion for economic support. Because there was just a lot of discussion about how red nails, red lipstick. If this is about claiming that it's about saving lives, let's be real then we would care about war-torn countries like Ethiopia. So that's a bunch of hypocrisy because I never hear Ethiopia brought up here. And I think a lot of times that kind of woman, which is ungovernable. And brutal inflation, skyrocketing gas prices that no one can afford, but $40 billion for Ukraine. And I think like as I've grown older, what it really is, is power, powerful women. Stop funding regime change and money laundering scams and U.S. politician cover-ups of their crimes in countries like Ukraine. Um, bold women who do what they deem is best. The American people do not support paying for constant U.S. involvement in foreign affairs while our own government fails our own country. That's how I'm choosing to reclaim it. Let me remind everyone here, we swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. And um, I kind of started stepping into that energy when I first started wearing red lipstick on the campus. 
we should be paying attention to our country right now. I yield back. Thank you.